Hey guys, we're here at Maker's Garage. You guys know their splitters and their scuff pads, but they have the new product that came out this year, right? Yeah, they just were. this year. Yeah. And this is Jason from Maker's Sorry. Garage. So we're going to take a look at their. Tell us about the wheels. Yeah, so um, they finally arrived this year, but I've been working on them since I think 2016. Uh, they're a reimagined version of the 93 Cobra wheel. They're 18 by eight and a half and uh, 18 by nine and a half for the rear wheel. Um, compared to the 17 by 7.5 and 93 cover wheel. They look really good. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Can you get them five lug, four lug? Yeah, it's a uh, four and five lug. Um, the chrome right now is available in five lug, but I am going to have um, them in four lug soon. So uh, if you're interested, hit me up on that. Uh, but yeah, the silver is definitely four and five lug. They all, there also is a nine inch version for a Fox with an independent rear suspension. Oh. So if you're running an independent rear, uh, the nine inch is a great fit for that. Or if you're running uh, 94 and up, the axles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can also put that nine inch in there, and you'll get the added clearance for the wider uh, track width. That's awesome. Yeah, um, and also the um, one of the cool things about the construction of the wheels is a flow form construction. Uh, so what that means is the wheels cast it, uh, but it's only like three inches wide, and then they heat the barrel, then they stretch it to all the different widths, and that makes the wheels stronger and lighter. So the production 93 Cobra wheel is about 29 pounds. In comparison, the 18 by eight and a half is about 26 pounds. That's, so you get a so it's bigger. Bigger, bigger, wider, wider, a lot lighter, yeah. So it's just that's the method. It's uh, just a lighter, stronger wheel. That's and, also, um, it's almost like a like a two piece, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, well, yeah, it's like more like mono block kind of style. Okay. So it's okay. like a hybrid between a forge wheel and a cast wheel, uh, the construction. Um, and as far as fitment goes, I mean, we went really pretty conservative with the fitment. So you can kind of put it on your car and it just bolts right up. And adjust you it. Have, yeah, you don't have to worry about things rubbing. Um, got a lot of requests from '93 Cobra owners that. You know, they don't want to modify anything, right? Oh, so yeah, yeah. we made sure that it, it cleared even the unrolled uh, quarter lips. That's awesome. Thanks. Man. Let's go over here and take a look at these. Yes, yeah, so this the '93 has the silver ones on this side, and then the chrome. Uh, on the okay. Other side. These are just bolted on, right? Yeah, these are bolted on. Okay. Yeah, yeah the fibbins. These some of the preliminary. Yeah, so these are uh, early stages. So um, I took, uh, you can see the stock 93 cover wheel there. We uh, 3D scanned the wheel so we could develop this pocket. Uh, so we could develop a center cap that was also identical to the 93 cover oh, cap. Yeah. So yeah, we 3D scanned and reverse engineered all the CAD data. Um, and then throughout the process, we would print these little 3D mock ups to validate like the shape of the wheel to make sure it's what we were going for. And then um, some people may remember back in like Carlisle in 2017, I did a full size 3D uh, print of the wheel just to kind of confirm the full, final fitment, uh, or final design before we went to production. Um, and then, uh, what else got for you? You got the scuff blades, of course. Yeah. Uh, also, oh, point on the wheels too, like here we have them in the different uh, powder coat finishes. Oh, so you can get them different colors. Yeah, so the silver and chrome are in stock. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we recoat the wheels in these finishes. Um, and then some are these center cap poppers? They are, yeah. So nice. you can pop up the center cap. They come with the wheels. Uh, and then if you're running a four lug car, um, a lot of people with four lugs realize that the dust caps always hit mm -hmm. the wheels, like yeah. uh, the, the the center cap or the dust. The, the center caps are from the SN95 wheels. Well, when we changed the back spacing to allow more clearance, we had the same issue. Mm -hmm. So we uh, 3D scanned the entire front of the car, all the castle nut, everything, and we found out how much empty or how much uh, airspace. And then what we did is we uh, created a die and we're re-stamping these. So That's these awesome. come with every set. So now- Yeah, because I have beat those with a hammer. Before. Everyone has beat them with a hammer. So yeah. now they're precisely you know, stamped. So you get about three millimeters of clearance between the back of this cap and uh, the spindle. That's so. awesome, they're on your website, right? They will be, yeah. This oh, next, next week they will be next on the website. Yeah. So this is exclusive, all right. Yeah, man, you got, yeah. You got exclusive. <laughs> yeah. But these, uh, your website's just Makers Garage? Yeah, it's uh, makers-garage.com. Okay. Um, someone owns makersgarage.com, oh, no. but they won't sell it. So, um, and they're not doing anything with it. Um, but yeah, so it's makers-garage.com. Yeah. 
They make these splinters for foxes, carbon, and uh, ABS, I guess. Yeah, so we don't have the carbon ones right now. Um, my suppliers just kind of back when we get those made, okay. backed up. Um, the ABS ones, I know a lot of questions about those. We don't have them right now. So uh, we've had some issues with production. So we're buying our own equipment and we're going to do all the manufacturing in house. Just take it, take it, put it in your own hands. Put it in my, we just purchased another building. Um, so we're going to bring everything in house on that. And then the cool thing with bringing it in house is we have about 15 other products that use the same process. So now we can kind of just go crazy and just oh, like, yeah. like, we're going to be doing all the side splitters along with it. We can start doing more diffuser stuff. Um, you know, the, a lot of questions about the rear quad exhaust, yeah. rear bumper. Oh yeah, yeah, um, I've seen the, the renderings of that. So I would love actually want everyone's feedback on this, right? Okay. So I was going to do this as a urethane rear bumper. Some people are cool with a fiberglass rear bumper. If I do a fiberglass, I can go to production a lot sooner. Okay. So I'm curious, like, from your listeners, like, your viewers, yeah. like, you know, are they cool with the fiberglass or are they, are they dead set on urethane? Like, you know, it's kind of, and it would be a good, good quality carbon, or sorry, uh, fiberglass, like a nice, like, not like a chopped mat, like a really nice yeah, woven yeah. vacuum formed. Uh, so you guys let us know down in the comments. Which one do you'd like to see? If you'd like to see a urethane or um, fiberglass? Or if you're okay with the fiberglass. Yeah. yeah. If you're okay with fiberglass, and get, like you said, you can go I a lot faster. faster with that. Yeah. yeah, I get the production a lot sooner with that. Awesome. So you get your own equipment to do the ABS? Your, your imagination is probably already running wild, isn't it? Oh, man, I got so many ideas. I got, I got, I got stuff that people probably even thought of, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, just sit in my shop all day and just mill parts and yeah. vacuum parts. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be wild. All right, well, thanks, Jason. Well, thank for, you. Give us a tour. I appreciate you coming You guys by. make sure to go check out his website. And you gotta get you a set of these Cobra wheels for your Fox. They, I think it's probably the best set of Fox wheels to come out recently. Yeah, so that's, I, I yeah. appreciate that, thank you. Because I always liked the Cobra wheel. Oh yeah, yeah. Just I didn't like the way they fit on a regular Fox yeah. body, so. Yeah. And I, I have a 93 and I just, I wanted a bigger, like more aggressive wheel, but I didn't want everyone to say I had a GT. That's really where the idea came from. Okay. Was, 93 Cobra owner problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out of here.